Welcome everyone to German Tool Reviews. Today we have the Helco Vario 2000 Heavy Log Splitter. Helco is one of many German axe making forges and have been producing forestry tools since 1844. I actually picked this product up on Amazon where it appears that Helco is selling direct to the consumer through Amazon's fulfillment program. Included with the unit is this very well made flyer that goes into some of the history and other products available from Helco. All of the heads are drop forged in Germany with C50 high carbon steel and is hardened to around 55 HRC which provides a good balance between hardness and durability. The handles are made in Switzerland from American hickory using sustainable logging practices. The blade sheath is made in the USA with real leather and contains an adjustable leather strap. I would think that this leather sheath is only applicable to the North American versions of the product. As we browse through the rest of the small flyer, there is an overview of their main product lines. Their traditional line contains axe heads that are handcrafted by artist and master blacksmiths using an open face drop forge. The interesting thing about these heads is that the Helco stamp is added only after the product has gone through all the requisite QA checks. I like some of the model names that they give these such as Black Forest Woodworker and Pioneer. The classic line contains heads that are polished, which are supposed to reduce the friction when cutting. It also claims to reduce rust resistance. The Pro Series is designed for long-term rigorous use and contains a couple of extra safety features such as the red overstrike protector and a safety screw that prevents the head from flying off. Finally we get to the Vario 2000 line which is the axe we are reviewing today. The cool feature about this series of products is the system that they implemented for interchangeable heads. Normally it can be a cumbersome process to change an axe head but with the Vario 2000 system it only requires removing two socket cap screws. The unit we are reviewing today is the heavy log splitter with model number 10058. Now it's time to unbox this thing. There was one cardboard protector that was taped over the head when it arrived that I previously removed. Opening the contents we first have a small note with a normal thank you for buying and contact information if you have any issues signed by Spencer Holst. I would recommend to Spencer that you also put your official title down here such as CEO or Vice President of Marketing or whatever your capacity is at Helco. I did like the extra note at the bottom explaining that the additional process of lacquering the blade for corrosion protection and the subsequent cosmetic bubbles that could arise during the process. As noted in the letter, a complimentary bottle of Axe Guard is included that is used as a protectant on the hex head to prevent corrosion. They have also included a Hafu 5mm hex key. The in-bus marking is a common terminology used for hex keys in Europe, which was named for the company that patented them in Germany in the 1930s. I applaud Helco for actually sticking with the German main company for the included hex key. Hafu is definitely not a well-known German brand in North America. Are there any Hafu fans out there? Now back onto the axe. We'll take a once over before diving into it. Looking at the build quality, I'm not seeing any issues with corrosion or manufacturing shortcuts taking on the head assembly. Looking at the handle, it looks to be varnished and contains a couple of do not attempt pictograms. The first is a do not hammer symbol. The second is do not use on a wedge and the third is do not twist. The rest of the handle looks good. I did have some trouble initially taking off the sheath as I needed some assistance in the form of some needle nose pliers. I'm guessing that the leather dried out and shrank a bit since this was put on. The sheath itself is actually quite impressive. It is indeed real leather and measuring it with some calipers it comes out to about an eighth of an inch thickness. All of the rivets and buckle are nickel plated. The stamped logo is also a nice touch. Looking at the blade you can definitely see some of the lacquer that the note was talking about as it gives off a very bright sheen. I did notice a couple of dubious grinding marks on the edges. Let's take off these socket cap screws to get a better look at the Vario 2000 system. I started off using the included 5mm hex key but I got impatient so I had to grab my Vera speed ratchet to finish it off. There's definitely very little clearance in the hole for this screw. I'm guessing that they drilled the hole and installed the screw after putting the handle in a humidor to allow it to shrink around the bolt. And you can see a couple of split ring lock washers which should make AVE proud. Behind the head you can see a little bit of oil that was applied before installation. On the back of the head you can also observe the raw forging marks along with the two topped holes to accept the socket cap screws. Weighing the head we get 2.249 kilograms which is 51 grams less than the 2.3 3 kilogram stamping that is on the side of the head. We would call this close enough for government work. For all the Imperial fans this will be about 5 pounds. This system is definitely an improvement on the way that most axe heads are attached which usually involves driving wedges and wood screws into the end of the handle. One thing I would suggest to Helco is to stamp a torque spec somewhere near the head because I really just had to guess when reinstalling the screws. So I think it's about time to do an obligatory test on this thing. I had a couple of trees fall down this winter so I spent a weekend cutting them up. Most of this wood is going to be green ash with some black locusts mixed in.
After chopping about half a quart of wood with the heavy log splitter, I was quite impressed. The balance of the head is a little bit different than most log splitters I'm used to, with the center of gravity being a bit further forward than normal. To compensate for this, the Vario 2000 handle has a slight curve. I noticed that for most hits, you can just use the weight of the head to do most of the work. If you get really good at it, I bet you can use this thing one-handed, which is probably why they also have a Vario 2000 hatchet. Now if we take a look at the condition of the head after going through that pile, we can see that all the varnish has worn off, and there are several places where some of the wood pitch has stuck to it. The face could probably use a good coating of wax next time I use it. I really have no idea what these black marks are, it almost looks like pen ink. Before storing the axe, I will use some of the included axe guard protectant. I'm pretty sure that something like Ballastol or any other tool oil would work just as well. I probably should have applied a little bit of this before using the axe, as it is supposed to prevent pitch from sticking to the axe. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the review of the Helco Vario 2000 Heavy Log Splitter. Check out the link in the description to the full review. Also in the description are the Amazon affiliate links to this product. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.